Rajiv's question on path of knowledge or on spiritual path, a seeker aims to transcend all sensory limitations. Be it physical or mental, the real self is always beyond. So who or what is that which is trying to trans transcend? Is it ego alone because identity as a seeker is due to ego or there's something else too? I have never seen anything else. This all transcending business is indoctrination, isn't it? When you are writing this, seeker aims to transcend this limitations and whatever. There is already an assumption that there is a limitation of some kind, sensory, extrasensory, who knows what. And there is an assumption that we, the seeker needs to transcend it. Can you tell me why do we need to do that? Why, where is the limitation? Isn't it perfect as it is? If you transcend the limitation today, there won't be any person, there won't be any seeker. The seeker is this limited form. What is wrong with being seeker? <laughs> what is wrong being this person? Is it the ego that is trying to transcend? No, the ego is a contraction. It wants to remain as that. The ego is the resistance to transcending or the ego is the resistance to expansion. The ego who wants to be what it is is a protection mechanism, as you know. It will never transcend anything. You know, you will see that it simply becomes a pet of the higher layers afterwards. Cannot become higher than what it is. It is okay, wherever it is. But uh, that the tra transcending simply means that drop the assumptions that I need to transcend. And simply know that I am the transcended one. And drop the assumption that there are sensory limits. Simply know that I am limitless. And these senses and all this business is illusion. There is no limit really. Nothing is physical and nothing is mental, isn't it? So the question points to some kind of indoctrination, ignorant beliefs. And I can see that this is what is happening in many parts. That is because uh, they have not reached the path of knowledge so far. So something is given to them. Okay, you are down here at the bottom. Why don't they tell these people who are on the other paths that the trans transcending and all these things uh, do not work? You are already the highest. Why don't they tell it? Because you see, it's not the path of knowledge. They have, they have chosen this path because hey, there is a limitation there. Their goal is something else. We have nothing to do with that. You know, they are doing whatever they are doing. It's okay, perfectly okay. On the path of knowledge, you don't need to do anything. You drop your ignorance. You're already the highest. You're the ultimate. Where do you want to transcend? Which limit do you want to overcome? The limit is also you. The freedom is you and the bondage is you. Tell me what do you want to do now? You are the whole. Where will you go? So ultimately, it, it leads to surrender. All these practices, they have no other job. They lead to surrender. And the surrender feels like total freedom. It's not like, you know, the thief surrendering to the police. <laughs> the criminal surrendering to police. You know, I surrender now, you put me in the jail. No. The surrender is all bondages are gone. And all freedom is also gone. <laughs> all these worries are gone. All the practices are gone. And we know that there is no knowledge actually. Knowledge is the ignorance. The urge to know is gone. Questions are gone. This is surrender. And do people understand these things? No, no, they don't. And that is why there are different paths where the progressive thing happens. Progress happens. On the path of knowledge, you will never progress. So when I say... A newcomer comes in the satsang. I say, surrender. Okay, next day. Um, how much should I pay you? I want to surrender all my money and belongings to you. There are people. I want to come and serve you. This is my surrender. I said, no. <laughs> this is not surrender. This is activity of some kind. Like sweetie said, no, I was worried you are not with me. And she used to call me day and night. But now she is not worried because now she has matured to a point where... This form of the Guru is not needed anymore. The understanding has happened that I am you. Where will I find you now? So, you see, there are some paths where, where this all this business is suitable and uh, it's perfectly okay. If that's what you want to do, transcend your limitations and sensory limitations and whatever. Choose that path. Ashwin is saying you have taken away everything and yet given everything. This is the miracle on the path of knowledge that... Nobody does anything and still everything happens. So he's putting all the blame on me that you have done it. No, 
I point. That's all. The pointing has been done. You have taken the point. <laughs> Simple. I never did anything. Sanjeev is saying how to be in awareness while talking to dear ones and friends and how to make better decisions. Two questions you, you have. So decision making has nothing to do with your dear ones. So just like I said, your dear ones and not so dear ones are you. Do you have this knowledge or not? They are your own forms. Remember this much? Now, are you going to harm anybody? Are you going to kill anybody? Are you going to torture anybody? Are you going to um, bound anybody? Anything at all, you see? Are you going to talk something negative that hurts anybody? I mean, you can talk. It is me, so I can talk anything. But you see, enjoy the consequences of it. Some people need a little bit of bitter talk sometimes. So if done in full awareness, your job is done. How to do that in awareness? Remember who they are. Everybody is you. So why are you worried so much about your dear ones? Ego is still there. Am I not dear to you? Do You, you don't want to be in awareness while talking to me? Don't like my face? <laughs> See, the boundaries don't exist for a seeker. Nobody is my dear one and everybody is dear to me. Be in awareness with everybody. everybody. Why are you worried about my dear ones? Who is your friend? No one. You don't have any friend. So be friendly to everybody. You are the only one. How to make better decisions? You see, a decision is better or worse only in retrospect because you don't know the consequences of your actions. You don't know the future like we say. The future is always dark. So use your intelligence, use your awareness and according to the best of your knowledge, plan an action. And this much I know, this is what I'm going to do. Remember that, you know, there is no doer also. There is no free will also. Nobody is there to decide. Knowing this fully, draw up your plan. Then execute it beautifully like a work of art and sleep peacefully, you see. N nothing can be done about it. After the consequences are manifested, you will know what was your decision. Was it good? Was it bad? If it is good, continue. If you're not happy with, you know, next time, we modify it, you know, change it a little bit. I made a mistake. No problem. We learn like this. Use your awareness to learn from the mistakes. Bad decision in my life. <laughs> yes. How will you learn to make good decisions if you don't make mistakes? Awareness will not guarantee a good decision. Awareness will guarantee a lesson. Have you learned the lesson? This much can be guaranteed. Will you learn if you are not aware? No, you will not. You will blame it on somebody. You will blame it on this, that. I am perfect. So, you see, I don't need, I, I need to keep doing the same thing, you see, because I am perfect. Others are not perfect. So, your decisions will never improve. And taking on the responsibility of decision is another thing. Fully knowing I am not responsible. <laughs> Fully knowing that this is Maya, this is illusion and anything can go wrong here. Usually it does. Like you know the Murphy's law. If everything is going right, uh, be very, very suspicious. Go and hide under the <laughs> table. It's a dangerous situation. Everything is going right. Maya is not like this at all. Either it is your dream, fantasy. Or you are one step away from the mental asylum because everything is going right in your life. It is dual. Maya is dual. Nothing is always right. If this goes right, that goes wrong. This is how the illusion works. You have more money, somebody else is poor, isn't it? <laughs> you have a lot of muscles, 500 pound body, 50 animals were killed to make your body. It is like this, it's always like this. Why do these worldly people never find any solution to any of their problems? Why? They don't understand duality. They think things can be made right and they keep taking the decisions in ignorance. So even if it is the wrong decision, awareness will cure it. You see, We are not here to make everything perfect. It's already perfect. We are here to learn. You will learn. And no matter if you make be best decisions in your life, there is always learning there. If you are not learning, yes, <laughs> no decision is good. So hopefully Sanjeev got an answer, which means shock of his life, isn't it? My answers are like <laughs> bolts of lightning only. Parthib is saying, my experience is that 
one can even be angry in awareness till other person finds out it was a play i laugh sometimes when believe it's perfectly okay you see this creature is a bundle of activities or you can say mental states and vrittis do we need to fix it no it's all okay just become aware it fixes itself through a series of lessons it is already doing it actually like is there a design issue in the creation because nobody has got awareness no they don't need awareness and the only thing is awareness speeds up this learning mechanism that's all it does awareness will speed up your evolution is it going to make you an experiencer from human no no it's not possible you see the human will remain human the experiencer is already experiencer it speeds up the evolution which is uh, you know continuous learning why are you learning so much because you forget everything you see you are repeating the same mistakes since many lifetimes by you i mean this thing which is born now awareness does a little bit of correction here so that you don't have to do it again and again so the result is the consequences speed up of evolution that's all so now you understand my total lack of respect for practices we don't need to do them it's already happening you can change the speed of it how much speed you want you have eternity how much you want tell me even if you speed up speed up the evolution to the next level let us say we are not we don't even know what, what how how much the evolution is there we are like our vision is very limited very narrow vision so we want to go to the next level which is the dev yoni obviously how much can you speed it up you see even you speed it up 1000 times still eternity to go what are you going to do for that time it's like you have 100 billion in your account and you're trying to save a penny so i also laugh <laughs> yes those who worry about these things you know evolution and so we should actually because we want to set up a good example otherwise people won't learn but uh, it should be like a play 